would have been the perfect. So in love with this color, with like a Parisian peplum style. I love the color. A very hot trend. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. And today I have a bunch of new items that I've recently gotten from H&M. And I think you're gonna like a lot of the pieces. A lot of the pieces you can wear now, but I also got some pieces that are really fun colors that you can wear in spring. I'm just so excited and can't wait to wear them. Before we start the video, I want to introduce myself for those of you who are new. My name is Ying and I do a lot of fashion content and I will be start doing more lifestyle content as well. If you're into either of those, then definitely hit that subscribe button and I hope I can show you a lot of things that you love. So now let's go ahead and go through all the pieces I got and then in the next video, I will do a styling and lookbook video and the reason why I'm doing that is because so so many of the pieces are just selling out like a lot of the things that I really want is just completely gone out of stock and I'm searching every day and every day and it's just not available so you guys can get a jump on it if you like any of the pieces I'll be going through the sizes you won't have to waste your time in buying multiple sizes to see what fits and what doesn't let's go ahead and go through it the first item I have is a pair of khaki trousers they are white leg and they are darker in color I've been leaning into the darker colors like for from tan to a chocolate. I think those colors will look so rich against the other colors I've been really loving, such as green, pinks, blue, like a baby blue. I've been really digging that. Uh, yellow and white and cream, of course. Um, also, of course, black. But the main pop of colors are probably pink and green. I think those would look really good with these uh, tan to light brown colors. I tried these on in a size 2 and they fit wonderful. They are too long for me. I have a size 2 with me and I also had a size 4. The size 4 does fit me comfortably. But I think I like the size 2 more only because the waist sits higher and I like the cinched in look more with a wide leg. Because I'm on the shorter side, if I wear something that's more cinched in on the top and then it widens out as it lengthens, then that would make me look a little bit more taller and slimmer. I know that the pants that are trending right now would hit you more on the hips. But for these, I like to have it sit a little higher. So let me go ahead and try these on and show you what they look like. I love the pleats here because when you wear something that's a little bit more high-waisted and it lengthens out but also it widens out, it will give you a little bit more of a, like you have a hip. I'm very more of an A-line shape and I have no butt. So this will give me more of an illusion like I have, you know, curves, which I wish I did. These are definitely way too long on me, so I do need to go ahead and get these hemmed. These are very, very comfortable. Here's a little close-up. The material on this is really great, and it has two back pockets in the back. Now we have a KS top, and what I mean is H&M has done so many of the Kate dupes knits. Now they have a black version, peplum style. The weight of this is a heavier knit, so this is something that you can actually wear now. And I think it is very cute. The way I will wear it is with a skirt, just because this flares out. This is a close-up of the knit. It's very nice rib detailing. Like I said, it's a heavier knit, so if you're into this style, I would suggest that you grab it now so that you get more wear out of it just before the summer hits. This is the knit here. I love peplum styles because it gives you the illusion of a narrow waist, even though mine is bubbling out, but whatever. I think this top looks really good with the wide leg pants as well. Very good quality. If you have the very first Kate top that H&M released, I think that was sometime of like last year. I did a video on it, so I will pin that on top here. It is the same exact quality in terms of materials, in terms of rib detailing, and the type of knit weight. So if you like that feel, then this is what you should expect for this one. This one's really cute and I feel very feminine in it. The sleeves goes up to here. I think it's very elegant. 
Another style I've been gravitating towards too is this Parisian look but more of a dress down version. So I've been really into the graphic sweatshirts like this. I think this is going to be a very hot trend. I plan to wear it with denim and especially trousers. I can just picture myself wearing it with like a baseball cap or even a bucket cap. I think it's just going to be so cute for spring and so big. I have three of them now and I think I am stocking like one or two of them and I'll pop those up in the screen here if you are interested. I just hope I can grab it before you. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, let me show you the three I have. This is the first one and I got a size small. I could have gotten an extra small. With the cream colors, I like it to feel a little bit more cozy. The thickness of the sweatshirt is light to mid-weight. It has this soft inner lining that is very comfortable. So I'm not even wearing anything under and it just feels really good. Definitely into the whole sweatshirt and trouser feel. I think this will look so good with sneakers and I will wear a baseball cap like I mentioned. Now this is the navy blue one I got and this one is an extra small. So I got this smaller in size because I feel with the darker colors you kind of want to go a little bit smaller just to give you a little bit more shape I think because if you get a larger size it's just going to look like one big blob if that makes sense. And I really like it. With this one, I would totally wear it with like a white turtleneck. I think that would give you that sort of like ski resort trip sort of look. But a little bit more updated and urban look with a pair of slacks and maybe a baseball cap. I think that would look so good. What do you guys think? When I got this, I was so in love with this color. And I also love that the print is also yellow, so it's a little bit more discreet. So this one I am the most happiest with. So now that you guys have seen all the sweatshirts, what do you guys think? Are you gonna jump on this sort of trend or are you guys gonna jump ship? I like to know. I'm very interested in knowing. Leave a comment below and I would love to see the overall consensus. One last look. Yes, I am digging it way too much. The next item I have is another pair of trousers and this one is the lighter sand color. I got this because some of you were asking me where I got my previous trousers and they were H&M too but those were sold out. These are similar in fit, but the length of these are longer. So you will have to get these hemmed if you are about my height, which is 5'1 or 5'2. These are also a little bit heavier weight than the one I have. The bonus of this is that it does have some sort of like elastic stretch on the band. My previous one had just the ribbed elastic on the back, but this one has an elastic inside built in so I think overall all around it has a, um, a little bit more of give or stretch so I thought that was pretty interesting as you can see they are a little bit long maybe an inch longer than I would usually wear so for me I would have to get these hemmed but very nice and flowy I think these are perfect for the spring weather because not only is it light and breezy but as you walk, you have some movement going on. Subtle pleats in the front again. Two back pocket. And it looks really nice and bright with this yellow sweatshirt. I'm telling you, graphic sweatshirts, gonna be in. The next item I have is a pair of cargo pants. And if you guys saw my recent video, I have a cargo obsession, and which is why I got these. The thing is, these are different. Like seriously, they are different because these are corduroy cargo pants. My initial reaction when I saw these was like, oh my goodness, I have to get them. When I got them, I was a little bit more disappointed because I really wanted the back pockets. Why didn't they make back pockets? Like, it would have been the perfect corduroy 
pants. I still included this into the video even though I'm going to return it because it's missing the back pockets but I think some of you who really love this won't mind it. These are the cargo pants and I really love the fit of it. I love the super relaxed fit but like I said for me it's missing the back pockets. These are very comfortable because you know what it has the elastic waistband in the back. Here's a close-up of the pockets. I just love these pockets. The next item I have is a pair of high-waisted wide-leg denim pants. And I love these because it has the contrast stitching in the front and the back. I've also been loving sort of like the vintage style and again with like a Parisian sort of combination. And that's how I am imagining to put this look together. The fit itself is just unbelievably great and comfortable. This one I am very excited to wear very soon. So I really love the fit of these. I love that it sits very high-waisted. I have a little pooch here so it does suck me in a little bit more which I love. And it has the contrast stitching in the back pocket. And this is what it looks like. These will also look good with if you have a black belt or even a white belt if you're wearing something lighter on the top. Super, super comfy. This is H&M's newest mohair knit. The last time I bought a mohair knit from H&M was probably about two months ago. And I returned it because it is itchy. It's the same case with this one. This one is very itchy on the inside and on the outside. So I'm going to return this one. If you guys do own H&M's mohairs knit, please leave me a comment below and let me know if the hair does get matted down after a wash because I do love the style and I love the look and color but I'm just, I just don't want to be stuck with it if it's still itchy. But yes, yes, please let me know if you have H&M's mohair knit and whether or not if you love it or if you hate it. I do love the oversized look for this. By the way, this is an extra small. Such a beautiful color. It's like popcorn. <laughs> This one I love, 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 love. I actually saw this maybe about a month or two ago and I've been eyeing it and putting it in my favorites. I didn't buy it then because I was waiting to see if other items would pop up and I could just buy it all together. I don't really like to buy just one item most of the time so that's why sometimes I miss out on a lot of deals. But anyway, this one is so beautiful. I love the colors for this. Reportedly, tie-dye is going to be one of the trends for this spring. The tie-dye we generally know of, I'm not really into it and I'm afraid to invest into it. Even if it's just low cost, I don't think I want to buy it because I know it's just going to be good for maybe one season. But this one, I just love the colors and I love the style. It has a poof sleeve here. It's not too over stylized. It's just very simple with just beautiful, magical looking colors. My daughter is actually going to get kicked out of it. So I probably need to find something for her because she's going to keep asking me for my sweater. This is also so very comfortable. This is a size extra small and I really do love the relaxed fit of it. I can't wait to wear this with the dark denims and also the light denims and white denims. And then imagine wearing this with a white tank underneath. The two next items I have are trench coats. The first one I have is a khaki color one. I have myself a totem trench coat that I wear very often, but I thought I would show you this one. This one I didn't really like when I received it because of a few things. I'm not crazy about the sheen and I don't think it's very waterproof. It's also a bit more mid-weight, so it feels a little bit heavier than I would like. This is just way too wide. I just wanted to to give you a review of my thoughts before you waste your time. This is a size small I'm wearing and this is how it fits on me. I think for me it's a little bit too much fabric. 
So yeah, this is going back, but if you guys like it, this is how it fits on me. So now I have a black trench coat to show you, and I've been really leaning towards a black one since last year. And so I saw this H&M one. This one is just so lightweight, it's very comfortable. I'm wearing a size small. I think I can go down to an extra small just because the sleeves feel a bit too long for me. The only thing I don't like is that this placement is so high. I don't know if that's gonna bother me later. The length is also very long for me. I may go ahead and order an extra small just to see if the length is a little shorter. I usually try to invest a little bit more money into my coats and jackets, but because I already bought like so many leather jackets and shirlings this year, you know, I think I may go ahead and go with a cheaper option, and this could be it. The next two items are ballet flats, and I'm not sure if many of you know, ballet flats are a big trend since last fall. It's going to continue to be a trend for this spring. I saw these 100% leather ballet flats on H&M's website, and I just jumped the gun because I actually bought the Zara flats last fall, and the material was just so stiff and it wasn't worth it to try to break them in. I love the new flats, and this one has just such a tiny bow detail. It's so cute. I'm a size six and a half, and these are a size six. These are very comfortable. The leather is very supple and soft. My only concern is maybe they might stretch out because the leather is so soft. I ordered the size five, which should be coming any day soon. I will go ahead and let you guys know which one I end up keeping. I also got these in black, and so when I get them, I'll make sure that I'll put them in the styling video. Now I have these black and white ballet flats with a white toe cap. These are very similar to the hot Chanel ballet flats. This is just so much cheaper and for the same look. These are size 6 and they are way too big for me. So I went ahead and ordered size 5 and uh, I'll give you an update and let you know how those fit. Otherwise, in terms of quality, it feels really good and the inside is very cushiony. I love that the footbed is padded so it gives you that extra bounce as you take a walk. Very, very comfortable. Way more comfortable than Zara's flat. These are a good steal. So that wraps up today's video, and I hope you enjoyed it and found some pieces that you really loved, and I hope you get them because things are just selling out. Everything is just out of stock. But I do want to tell you that if you really love something, make sure you put it on your favorites and just check every so often because I think other people are having the same issues in terms of the sizing and everything. So I'm pretty sure the sizes will come back in stock. Anyway, good luck with your shopping. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It'll really help my channel out. And if you have any future video suggestions, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Where? Where? Okay, where? I think this is perfect for the spring weather where it will... Okay, let me do that. The two next items I have are khaki pants and... No, khaki pants. If you're into either of those contents, then hit that subscribe button so that you are notified of when I shoot a new video.